Look at it from the ground. Look at that. That's the money shot right there. Hit the subscribe button, smash that like button. Each video, dislike it if you choose, unsubscribe if you want, whatever. You're here, we appreciate it. Just watch the video, put a comment down below on what you like or want to see different next time. But just take the time to enjoy this day. Super grateful, as always. You guys keep being awesome, keep being amazing, and keep on doing some the world. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back or to the channel. As you can tell by the thumbnail, we got something cool for you today. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider doing so. We do a lot of cool things on this channel, a lot of random activities. So if you enjoy this, please stick around. But anyways, as you can tell behind me here, we do have this mower right here. This is my personal mower. This is the John Deere E150. This is that Lowe's Home Depot special you see out front. And it's been an absolutely great unit, obviously. For the price, for what it is, it's pretty much what you expect. Kind of your basic mower. You Got to manually raise this deck. You got this little firm seat here, no power steering. But it gets the job done. It's your basic mower. I don't even remember now if this was like 2,500 or three grand, something like that. 48 inch deck on her. But anyways, this is what you get if you go to Lowe's or something. And it works just fine for what it is. Small little tank. But it gets the job done. What's the motor inside this bad boy? Little 22 V twin. Decent, not bad, a little battery. Anyways, this is what we got right now, but today we're actually gonna check out a seven series, something super cool. Probably roll like a montage type thing for you guys and then we'll talk more about it. Disclaimer, I do not claim to be an expert on either one of these mowers, but I did kind of want to show you what I'm working with on the daily and what I might be referencing when I talk about the 700. But anyways, let's dive into it. You guys have been waiting enough. I'm Yappy. Montage. Three, two, one, go. Walking up to it, the X738. What a beauty. Look at it out here. And look at the view, the pasture in the background. This is epic. Anyways, guys, we're just out here checking it out, getting a little first impressions. Obviously, we just kind of want to walk around it here and see what we notice on this thing. I mean, it's really hard to not notice this big, fat seat on here, which is super wide, super comfortable, and the stitching in there is incredible. That's an authentic John Deere seat right there, which is just amazing. Look at the stance. Really noticed when I came up on this thing, the front is aggressive. It looks like a dang Audi or something with them headlights, super aggressive. Stands up super tall, and the hood looks like a dang L5P Duramax hood or something crazy, Cal induction hood. Super crazy, plenty of airflow in there, even the side vents. Absolutely stepped it up from the last model, the 7 Series before, or at least the one that was here. But check out that motor, pristine. Look at that iTorque power system. Unbelievable, what do we got in there? little cooler anyways the motor i think this is the 25 horsepower or so gas you have to fact check me or i can fact check myself but look they got some cushions on there to make the nice uh noise reductions or whatever you got a fan in there looks like a full-blown tractor motor in here spark plug starter everything fired right up too but anyways when we sit up on it here let me get comfortable oh 
that seat is just amazing. Another look down in the hood there. Close that up. What it looks like from the captain seat right here. But you turn that key, let's see what it does on the dash here. The dash is crazy digital dash. Look at that. It's like we're driving a Lambo out here. This thing is way, way nice. Foot on the brake here to start her up. Fires right up. That is nice. Easy throttle. Cut that off so we don't mess with the noise audio here. But anyways, super crazy, super incredible right there. Fired right up, notice that's that fuel injection, that EFI. Put an EFI live tuner on this thing, get like 500 out of it. I'm just kidding, but look at it. That is super aggressive. These tires, look at them, mean. Got the nice silver accent in there. Should be nice and easy on turf. Nothing that's gonna tear up the grass too bad. And the four-wheel drive is just crazy because it's just like it pulls you right up the hill. You're not going to slip. You're not going to slide. Check out them cool tail lights. I believe the reverse actually light up when you do come in reverse, which is super cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Swallowed something crazy. But anyways, look at the deck. I think they offer multiple different decks. This is the 54 here. They said if the 48, you can barely even see where you're going. So you got to get at least the 54 or the 60. But you can drive right on over it with them ramps there. And yeah, super cool. Big gas tank, I think that's what they said. I looked at this thing on the website earlier and tried to get some facts so I didn't sound too dumb when I pulled up on this thing. I'm not a tractor guy by any means, but just super cool to see this mower in person. Um, obviously... The power steering let's talk about the power steering super smooth you don't have to fight it and crank it it's just nice and easy just like you're driving your car super super cool can't say it enough look at it from the ground look at that that's the money shot right there yep you gotta love it have you guys tried this out before what have you mowed with what do you mow with what's the best mower out there obviously john deere easily the best brand on the market if i do say so myself not trying to compare this to any other brands because they're irrelevant. John Deere, nothing. You want the best quality. You want the best performance. You just go green, baby. And that's what we got here. Look at the way they designed this. Look at how your hands go in there to start the mower. Super easy. Pull on. Parking brake here. It even has cruise control. What kind of mower has cruise control? That's ridiculous. Here's your grass height setting right there. Got lights here. 12 volt outlet. Look over here, 12 volt, plug your phone in, plug whatever in. Nice little storage, I normally you can put your phone or whatever in there. Little tool action in there. Drink cup holder, drink cup, whatever right there. This side, nice little bar if you're mowing on the side of a hill or something, hold on there. What we got there, diff locker probably, lock your differential. And yeah, this bad boy is so, so sweet. Look at the key, look at the key. What do y'all think? Got one, getting one, want one? All of the above. All right, so let's take off on this thing real quick. Fire this up. Watch what it do. Try to idle that up a little bit. Just a little bit there. Now we'll reach over here.
most yards, most acreage you're going to want. And here's kind of from the front end, there's more of the axle you can see right there inside the wheel, the four wheel drive and whatnot. What it looks like from ground level over here just taking you around the mower so you can see more about it. I believe on the blades, I believe there's three underneath there, at least that's what the picture showed online. And yeah, this is it. This is what it looks like in the shop. Just beautiful. Nice, clean mowing machine. Oh yeah. All right, so yeah, there's the mower right there. I just wanted to show you guys this because I know it's super cool when you're doing your research. You wanna YouTube it, you wanna see. Kind of from a real life perspective, instead of just reading it on the internet, this behind me is what it looks like, the 738 gas version. They do make the diesel, like I said earlier. So if you got one of these or have driven them, what's your feedback on it? A lot of people are gonna ask in the comments, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? This is not my personal mower, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you everything. So hopefully some people in the comments are gonna be able to help us all out as we go through this. But this thing is way more than I need for my yard. But if you got, you know, a good acre, two acres, 10 acres to mow, whatever, you're gonna need something this size. The average day person probably doesn't need something this big and fancy, but for those of you that do, definitely check this bad boy out because it is cooler than school. I promise, I know that's cheesy, but anyways, Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we see y'all in the next one.